I hope you follow us and I hope in one, one way or another you can lead us. So I am going to do three things here. I'm going to summarise the two days that we've been spending together. And I'm going to do some thank yous. And finally, I will talk to you about what's next. But first of all, as, as David said, I am the lead of the VCSP. I took over from Ava Maria as the, um, she was the Young Surveyors Network Chair at the time that created the VCSP pilot. And since then, we have developed a way forward strategy. So when I talk about what's next, I will also talk about other things that we've been doing as well as the Wisdom Workshop. So if we reflect back to day one, we had a great opening from the FIG president, Rudolf Steiger, who talked to us about the importance of volunteering for the future, and that aligns very well with the FIG's goals. Then we started off with the sharing of experiences and lessons from the four volunteer community surveyors who were among the 13 that were deployed back in 2017. So Sandy from Zambia, thank you so much. Um, you talked about, uh, sorry, Sandy from Zimbabwe, who was in Zambia, talked about the impact she was able to have on improving basic housing and infrastructure with GLTN. And one of her, my favorite quotes from Dundee was, be humble and ask for help. Tristy from Nepal uh, talked about her time in Dolica and during the post earthquake, uh, magnitude 7.8 earthquake in Nepal. And my favorite quotes or lessons that Tristy had was, along with technical benefits, she got new leadership skills, she made new friends, and she got a job out of working, uh, volunteering on the BCSP. Now, Shandan Das from uh, Nepal as well, talked about his time in the Philippines and mapping informal settlements. He was pointed out that the Young Surveyors Network has got a good outreach at the moment, and we are growing. And I'll touch on that soon. And also, brought up an interesting point that Mount Everest has increased in height. Now I'm sure that that is due to more accurate measurement techniques and Shandon had some interesting perspectives to share around making the most of the tools you have at hand. Finally, Adama uh, from Senegal spoke about his time in the Demo Democratic Republic of the Congo, uh, helping with improving tenure security. My favourite part of Adama's presentation was the importance he places on social and cultural awareness being the most important, often over technical skills. And also the importance of reporting day by day to document like a pro. Then we moved on to hearing from Sila. Uh, Solomon from GLTN and about how they tr strive to achieve affordable and sustainable approaches to tenure and security. He spoke of the STDM model as a participatory tool that's independent of tenure type. Paul also touched about on about uh, the social tenure domain model technology side of things. And GLTN talked about the impact they're having in Uganda, Kenya, Zambia, Laos, Iraq, and Nepal. Kwabina ran a very interactive session using the uh, Mentimeter tool, and it was great to see that ranked high with sustainable development and bottom-up approaches, which align nicely with the Volunteer Community Surveyor Program. Aaron, thank you for talking to us about the skills required as humanitarian surveyor and touching on the connection we have with the sustainable development goals and our values. I also appreciated the quote that we are not in it for the hashtags and the selfies and we are in it for the improvements of other people's lives. Then we went on to the hands-on session where we had uh, Kadasta, Justice, Wambai, and Paul from GLTN 
have two sessions uh, on, on the, their respective tools. Now, I know there are some lessons there to learn around logging in, et cetera. Um, and I'd like to implore you all to have a look at the MOOC and try, uh, try your hand at the tools that are available there still for three more days. And there were some people, as David said, still not able to log in um, to the MOOC. Please check your email. Israel has added you now. And then on to day two. So we carried on with the hands-on session today, and I'm hoping that you were able to leverage on the knowledge you learned yesterday. Uh, I'm very glad I was here to hear, hear, to hear from Ernst at Cadastra about his work in Benin um, and also touching on Mozambique, Colombia and Nepal. It was interesting to see that they've approached, um, come up with a fit for purpose solution because it was going to take over 300 years to map all the parcels of Benin, which is not an achievable solution for the government's policies. And they've put in a solution which was going to be scalable should the uh, need be to include customary tenure. And I was so pleased to hear from Justice Mohando from the Spatial Collective, a, a group that I only heard about recently through Kate and a group that I'm hopefully looking forward to uh, connecting with more. Uh, Justice, I've got so many notes here that I can't, I can't cover them all, but uh, you talked about it being more about the intangibles, um, the issues with rapid urbanisation in Zanzibar, and like, the importance of community buy-in. Kate, thank you for stepping in and running that interactive discussion. Kate from Land Equity International very creatively and expertly took questions from Rose, Honey and Constance from three different countries in three different contexts and talked about the importance of trust and how it takes time to develop trust. Now, it's difficult, but as surveyors, we do have to learn how to put meaning into our roles and share that despite the vocabulary gap. And influencing the way that technology is used and new, new solutions are used is um, quite often up to the young surveyors. Chetna, you're a great speaker as usual. Thank you for jumping in there and talking to us about the Knowledge Portal. I cannot wait to see where you take that and I know that you are the right person for the job. Just as a reminder, Chetna talked about the importance of and the method of documentation and we hope that there are different solutions and different methods that you can use which suit your communication style so that you can share your stories. Now, what's next? I was able to join a very interactive and informative session with one of the Africa regions groups. I thank you all for your discussions and I hope that you're able to connect uh, with our help after this workshop. Now, I have some thank yous to make. Just bear with me, I want to make sure I've got the document ready to share. I don't have it ready, that's fine. I have um, a few thank yous to make for the participants. Thank you so much for being so engaged and giving us so many different questions, which we will endeavor to have answered for you after the workshop and thank you for your engagement on the Mentimeter. It's so uh, refreshing and relieving to see that you are engaged as we have put so many hours into creating this wisdom workshop for you. Next I have a thank you to our partners G GLTN and Cadasta who were very very engaged in giving us so much effort in creating a session that could be very interactive for you all. Now the Wisdom Workshop team. So you'll see everyone's faces from the entire volunteer community surveyor programs core team in the handbook. I have special mentions here for the Wisdom Workshop team led by Israel and David, his mentee, Angela and Roshni, 
Thank you for your work on communications. Chetna, Kamshin, your efforts around the knowledge portal and around the Mentimeter were absolutely vital. Cillian, thank you for your help and your engagement over the workshop. And Opalua, thank you for helping with the rapporteur roles. These people embody our values, volunteerism, sustainability, community, and respect. So if you're looking for role models, these are your people. And obviously there's two people missing, um, not in the workshop at the moment because they're in similar time zone to me. It's 3 a.m. in the morning, so they are sleeping. <laughs> but Jordan and Tom are other members of the BCSP team who are also very proactive. Now I have made many friendships with this team and I thank you all and I hope that we continue this great work we are doing. Thank you for your dedication and thank you to your partners and your families for their constant support of you so that you can be your best self. Our facilitators, I have get, uh, we have got a small gift for you, which I will send to you after the workshop. It is um, a donation of planting a tree each. I believe they are planted in Uganda. I will mention you all once um, by name again. So Rudolf, Kopena, Sandy, Adama, Tristy, Chandan, Paul, Solomon, Justice Bombay, Justice Mohando, Aaron, Kate, and Ernst. Thank you from the bottom of my heart and the, from the bottom of our hearts in the Wisdom Workshop team. So what comes next? Well, for you participants, there is a fair bit of work for you to do, as well as us as the BCSP team. You'll see in the second to last page in your handbook, there's a follow up plan. Please take some time to fill that in, reflect on the two days and think to yourself, how can you make an impact? The MOOC, as we've said, will be open for three more days after this and we will be creating certificates for each of you who have been in the workshop. We have talked about making sure you've finished the MOOC before we give you your certificate. If you are unable to complete the MOOC, please let us know and we can work something out. And finally, collaboration among your groups. So those recent uh, breakout rooms, uh, we will work to connect you all and please keep the conversation going. We would love to have your collaborative efforts uh, engaged with our team so we can help make a difference together. Uh, please also connect with us if you are worried about staying in contact. Um, that's good timing is a question from Merito. We have got a Facebook group. We use the Young Surveyors Network group and we've got a LinkedIn page. We have Twitter. And if you are not a social media user, please use our email address using the subject line BCSP. We have got all your emails and we will add you to our mailing list anyway. Uh, can someone from the, the team please share the links to our social media pages, please? And finally, for your new participants, please keep learning. We've done our best to empower you and bring you some experts and some stories that you can learn from. Um, for the VCSP, what's next for us and for enabling um, our goals to be achieved, we seek to empower you. So we're hoping to have those of you who are interested run your own wisdom workshops. We have a lot of lessons that we've learned and we're happy to share because one of the things the Volunteer Community Surveyor Program needs to do, we recognise, is use our network and engage. And we're only a small team, so we can't do all this on our own. We need your help. So if you're interested in running your own wisdom workshop, please get in touch. Now we actually have very exciting news. We have some in-country opportunities coming up to be deployed um, locally in East Af some East Africa countries. 
Um, so we've just announced a couple of roles for um, partnership with Cadasta. Please go to our Facebook page uh, to see the application details. And there's a form there that shuts on the 7th of February. We also have another one coming up, which we are confirming some final details in partnership with Global Lantel Network. Both of these, as you may assume, because of COVID-19, will be deployments from more local areas rather than a surveyor like myself coming from Canada going to um, Zambia. It will be someone who's more local to the area to keep you safe. We will also be sending out a, a form that you can fill in if you are not a young surveyor but you are interested in staying involved. We are looking to connect mentors with our volunteer community surveyors. So that way you can be, feel supported as a VCS and you can feel involved as a mentor. Now, obviously, when it comes to deployments and running uh, workshops, there's, there's costs involved and we have a very small amount of money that's, that we need to grow. Um, pretty soon we'll be sharing what we call a case for support and that will be a call for funding partners. Please, if you see it, share it with um, your network. Uh, advocate for us if you believe in the VCSP uh, like we do. And another future event is e-volunteering. So for those of you who are not able to volunteer in country, we have created a new path, which is e-volunteering. Recently, we joined with SSI on the Firewater Mathathon. We will be reporting on that in the FIG Working Week coming up later this year. And in the next few months, we're hoping to have another e-volunteering event. Now, before you leave, I'd like you to complete an evaluation of this workshop. This will allow us to learn and grow so that our workshops become more impactful as we empower you to create them. Now, I have summarised. And I have such gratitude for you all. Finally, I've laid out our upcoming plans. Now, how can you share and contribute to this movement? Alone, we don't have all the answers. Our strength is in our empowerment of the Young Surveillance Network. What you do now will influence how we map the world a better place. Until we meet again. Thank you.